children. We are in kinder three. Okay, I miss you a lot. And I'm very glad to see you again. We are going to continue with our English classes online. Okay, I hope you pay attention and remember what we have learned in this school year. Okay, let's go to start with the date as always. Okay, okay, let's start with the days of the week. Everybody repeat at home. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, what day is today, kids? You know. Okay, excellent. Today is Thursday. We're going to write on the board the day of the week. Today is Thursday. We are going to write here the word Thursday. Okay? Okay. We continue with the months of the year. Okay, we have here the months of the year. Everybody repeat. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. In what month we are kids? We are in, you know, you know, you know, April. Excellent. We are in April. Okay, do you remember the number of day? Okay, we are going to write April. Okay, think what number of day is today. Okay, today is 23. Excellent. Okay, 23 or 23rd. Okay, and the year? 2020. Okay, 2020. Okay, let's continue with the seasons of the year, kids. Okay, let's start. Everybody repeat. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. In what season are we kids? You know, we are in spring. Now we are in spring, okay? Because spring, it's the first season of the year, spring. And do you remember the weather? Okay, let's see the weather now. Okay, everybody will be sunny, cloudy, windy, snowy, and raining. Okay, and look, look, how is the weather today, kids? Look, look through the window and check how is the weather today. Yes, it's a sunny day. Okay, we are going to write here that today is a sunny day. So, let's repeat the date. Everybody say after me. Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. It's spring and it's a sunny day. Very good, kids. Okay, we are going to continue with the review. Okay, now let's check the alphabet. It's important the alphabet because we are going to do a spelling contest now with some words that you already know. Okay, everybody repeat. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, pay attention because we are going to do the spelling contest, kids. But now we are going to say to say the pictures and the letter. Okay, everybody repeat after me. 
A as in astronaut. B as in balloon. C as a computer. D as a doctor. E as in I. F as in flashlight. G as a guitar, as in guitar. H as in helmet. I as in ice. J as in jet. K as in kilogram. L as in lightning. M as in, as in moon. N as in notebook. O as in oxy, oxygen. P as in pen. Q as in quarter. R as in robot. S as in spacecraft. T as in TV, television. U as in umbrella. V as in video. W as in watch. W, X, excuse me, X as in x-ray. Y as in yellow. And Z as in zero. Okay? Very good for you kids. Now we are going to see and say some words for the spelling B contest. Look, we have here some words and you are going to try to spell it. Okay, what does it say here? Mom. Okay, try to spell mom. Okay? M O M Mom. Excellent kids. Very good. Now we are to continue with another word. Okay? What does it say? Dad. Can you spell that, please? D A D Dad. Perfect. Okay. Another word we have here. Cat. The word cat. Can you spell it for me, please? Okay. C A T. Right. Let's continue with pet. Okay. Can you spell pet for me, please? Okay. Very good. P E T pet. Great. Great kids. Okay. Now we have here the word. What does it say? You know? Red. Okay. Can you spell red for me, please? R E D red. Excellent. Okay, we continue with this word. What does it say, kids? You know, good is cap. C A P cap. Very good. We have another word, and this is tell me, please. Okay, is bat. Okay, now spell bat. B A T bat. Okay, very very good. Okay, well, now let's continue with this word. What does it say here? Okay, bat. Can you spell bat for me, please? Okay. No, it's not bad. It's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's not a B. It's an H. Okay, now you are going to spell hat. H A T hat. Perfect, perfect. Okay, and we have here another word. What does it say? Okay, everybody look at this word. Dog. Okay, can you spell dog, 
please. D O G D. Perfect. And we have here the last word of today. Okay, what does it say here? Cup. Okay, can you spell it for me? C U P Cup. Okay, perfect. Yes? Okay, so you are going to study these words because remember, you have to say the spelling of these words for the spelling contest. So let's check them very fast. Mom, Dad, Cat, Pet, Red, Cap, Bat, Hat, Dog, Cup. Okay? Well, this is all for the spelling bee contest. Now we are going to continue with number sets. Very important. Then we are going to do T numbers and we, then we are going to solve some additions and subtractions. Okay, so we need to know up to number 100. So as you are going to repeat the words with me, we are going to say these numbers a little bit fast. Okay, everybody start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Excellent kids, up to 100. And let's say the numbers, these numbers, but now from 10 to 10. Okay? Okay, start. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Excellent. I'm going to write for you some additions on the board and you are going to solve them and later you are going to copy them in your English notebook. For example, in English, of course, how much is 4 plus 2? Okay, think. How much is 4 plus 2? Meanwhile, I'm going to write here additions. Okay, you have the answer? Can you have the answer now? Okay. Okay, 4 plus 2 equals 6. Excellent, kids. 6. Okay, do you know how much is? Eight 
plus one. Tell me the answer. We have eight plus one equals, you have the answer? Great, great. Eight plus one is nine. Very good, kids. Okay, we are going to do another, another more. Okay, we have here five plus five equals, you know the answer? Okay, think, think, think. Okay, if we have five, other five, the answer is great, ten. Very good for you. Okay, we are going to continue with uh, other three additions. Yes, we are going to write three more additions here. And, well, for homework, well, I'm going to write three for homework. But we are going to write here the correct number. Here, six. Four plus two equals six. 8 plus 1 equals 9, and you are going to write here 9. And flat 5 plus 5 equals 10. Okay? You are going to write here 10. And for homework, you are going to have all the three additions. I'm going to write here, um, let me see. 3 plus 2 equals, I'm sorry, equals, you are going to write here the answer and here with letter, okay? Another one is going to be 6 plus, mm, we are going to write here. A difficult one, okay? Six plus eight equals, and the answer, okay. Another one, but this is going to be more difficult, yes? Okay, pay attention. We have here 10 plus five equals, okay. Here the answer, and here the answer in words. This is for homework kids. You are going to do it in your notebook with the date, the title. You are going to copy these additions and you are going to copy these additions and solve them. Okay? Now, we are going to continue with colors. Okay? Let's continue with colors. You know perfectly. Colors, so. Okay. Everybody repeat after me. So, you tell me. You tell me because you know perfectly all the colors. Okay, everybody together we are going to say the colors. One, two, three. Red, green, lila, orange, blue, yellow, pink, peach. Beige, white, purple, black, brown, silver, golden. Okay, okay, now let's let's get the, the community. Okay? This is my neighborhood and we are going to to check. Okay, everybody repeat. Park, pool, movie theater, zoo, toy store, museum, library, and supermarket. Again? Okay. Park, pool, movie theater, zoo, Toy store, museum, library, and supermarket. Okay, very good, kids. Now we are going to see a poster of animals, and you are going to tell me which 
muchas animas, muchas animas have two legs or four legs or no legs. Okay, let's study this. Check. Everybody say, what animal is this? A spider, an octopus, a beetle, a ladybug, an ant, a giraffe, a crocodile, an elephant, a zebra, a mouse, a lion, a tiger, a hippo, a human, an eagle, a penguin, an ostrich, a monkey, a dolphin, and a snake. Now, kids, you are going to tell me. Okay, tell me an animal with four legs. Okay, look at the poster and you can tell me which animal has four legs. Okay, very good for you. If you chose one of these animals, you are okay, you are right because all these animals have four legs. Okay, and can you tell me an animal with no legs? Zero legs, zero legs, no legs. Okay, okay, if you check here, you are right because you can say that it can be a dolphin or it can be a snake. Okay, okay, very good. Well, now uh, you're going to tell me an animal with six legs. Okay, look. Look and okay, what animal have six legs? Okay, very good. You can choose a beetle, a ladybug, or a gnat. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. And okay, now you are going to tell me animals with two legs. Two legs, okay? Okay, right. You can choose whatever of these animals. Okay, it can be an ostrich, a monkey, the animal that you want. Okay, even though a human. Okay, now we are going to continue with animals with eight legs. Look. Okay, can you tell me an animal with eight legs? They are small animals. Excellent, like a spider or like an octopus. Okay, let's count the spider legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. And an octopus, too. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the eight. It's eight. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, here are two legs. Okay, very good, kids. Okay, now we are going to continue with your presentation. It's going to be an example of your presentation. But first of all, we are going to check the food. Okay, let's check this food so that you can choose. Okay, we have here natural food and we have here manufactured food. Okay, and then the natural food we have milk, repeat kids, milk, onions, tomatoes, mushrooms, water with ice, chicken, peppers, potatoes, fish, carrots. Now, manufactured food or junk food. Okay, pizza, chocolates, popcorn, butter, ice cream, bread, jelly, 
Coke or soda and chips. Okay, we have here all these food that you can choose for your presentation. So, I'm going to do an example of your presentation, kids. Um, I'm going to start and you are going to, to remember and to study this. Okay, imagine that I am um, Camila. Okay, it's an example and I'm going to invent things eh? names are all these things. Eh? Hello, my name is Camila. I'm five years old. My favorite color is pink. My favorite animal is an elephant. I like I like chicken, but I don't like butter. My mom's name is Claudia. My dad's name is Pepe. I have one brother and two sisters. Two sisters and one brother. Okay. And I have a pet. It's a puppy. Okay? Thank you. Okay, very good. This is a, an example of your presentation. Now, kids, we are going to sing a song. Well, two songs. I'm going to, to play the faces song. So, I'm going to play the CD and you are going to sing with me. Okay? And then, we are going to do what are we? You are going to see what are we going to do. This is the faces song. And you are going to do the things that I do. Okay? Are you ready? Yes? Okay, let's start. One, two, three. Everybody dancing and singing, eh? Sing the faces like song. The faces song. I like 
Okay, and we have here in the orange section, we have the orange section, celebrations, okay? Okay, are you ready with your books open on this page? Okay, so we are going to repeat these words and point with your finger, okay? And repeat after me, okay? Everybody say, concert, Party, field day, graduation, play, parade. Again, concert, party, field day, graduation, play, parade. You are going to study the dialogue too. Okay, and here is that. And here is Gus. Do you remember Gus? Okay. And that is asking him, when is your concert? Is this afternoon? Uh, everybody repeat, please. When is your concert? It's this afternoon. Okay, I'm going to explain you here what are you going to do. You know what? Do you know what's happening now? Celebrations. Okay, okay, celebrations, celebraciones, okay, and then, do you know what is a concert? Maybe Evelyn knows what is a concert because she studies piano, okay, she has piano lessons. Okay, this is a concert, concierto, and what's this? You love this, it's a party. Okay, fiesta, una fiesta. A birthday party is una fiesta de cumpleaños. This is a party. And a field day, do you know what is a field day? Imagine, is el día de la tierra. Okay, hay que cuidar la tierra. Okay, we continue with graduation. Do you know what is a graduation? Okay, graduation is when you finish your classes in kinder three, for example, 
or in primary and sixth grade, and you have a graduation, a party with all your friends and all your teachers. This is a graduation, graduation. And play, what is play? Play is una obra de teatro. Okay, when you go to the theater, you can see a play. And we have here a parade. Do you know what is a parade? Parade, I like parades. Parade is from the city. Okay, so we are going to repeat again the words. Okay, concert, party, field day, graduation, play, parade. And the dialogue too. When is your concert? It's this afternoon. ¿Cuándo es tu concierto? Es esta tarde. ¿Ok? Ok, kids. You are going to write the date here because you have to study these words and you are going to write at the top of the page here you are going to write the date. ¿Ok? Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Or 23. Okay, here you are going to write the date. Okay? And you are going to write, you are going to put a check mark on each picture that you study. Okay? Concert, party, field day, graduation, play, parade, and in the dialogue, of course. When is your concert? It's this afternoon. Okay? This is the evidence that you are going to send me by WhatsApp, okay? You are going to take a photograph of, of this lesson and you are going to send me a photograph, okay? Now, let's continue with the other job. We are going to work in the activity book, okay? Here we have our activity book. Okay, and you are going to open it again on unit 9, page 82. Okay, we have here celebrations and of course you have to write the date at the top of the page. And you are going to look at the picture and observe, watch, and then directions. Cross out, cross out, cross out the items that don't belong. You are going to put a check mark on, no, a check mark, no. A cross, a cross mark. You are going to write a cross mark in the items that don't belong here. For example, uh, does an airplane belong to this plane? What do you think? An airplane in a plane? Mm -mm. You are going to put a cross, okay? And you are going to find other things. For example, here we have the teacher with a crown, with birds. Is it correct? Or, um, for example, this girl that has a bowl on her face. Mm, I don't know. And a hen. In the, on the stage and a neck okay you are going to cross the things that don't belong to this picture but you are going to color the teacher and these kids who are in their graduation okay and the same you are going to write the date do your job and send your evidence by What's up? Okay? Okay, kids. I think that this is all for today. Um, I hope you don't miss your classes because we are going to continue work, working in these English classes. And I hope to see you next class. Thank you very much for your attention. I'll see you next class. Thank you.